Mr. Hitler If you think we're on the run We are the boys who will stop your little game We are the boys who will make you think again Cause who do you think you are kidding Mr. Hitler If you think old England's done Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21 But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun So who do you think you are kidding Mr. Hitler Now, to wage war successfully, every commander in the field should put himself in the enemy's shoes and see the situation from that point of view. And so, I asked myself, if I were in Adolf's shoes, what would Adolf be thinking? He'd probably be wondering what you were doing with his shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> Very amusing, Walker, but it doesn't help much. Uh, sir, he'd probably be thinking, I wonder what they've been up to. That's quite right, Corporal. Yeah. And what have we been up to since Dunkirk? Well, the only way for Hitler to find out for certain is to come and have a look. Hey. That new <laughs> air raid warden down in Gardenia Gardens looks like her, Hitler. Uh. <laughs> no, 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 Pike. I don't think that Hitler would come personally. Why not? S did. I think he would probably send a recce party in a submarine. Well, Hess was an entirely different case. <laughs> <laughs> or send the swift, silent surface craft. Canoes! <laughs> canoes! They might come across them. Canoes! Listen, we're talking about Nazis, not Apache Indians. <laughs> I almost thought Apache were French dancers. You, uh, you know, the ones where the gentleman uh, throws the lady around rather uh, badly. I, I never liked them much. Yeah, he used to have a couple of pash dancers on the bill with Nellie Wallace. <laughs> yes. And he treated her with disdain and threw her towards the trombone player. <laughs> and he, she was a very haughty miss and had very big thighs and long black silk stockings. <laughs> and she was big, uh, big thighs. Yes, she had big thighs and she used to do a lot of that. <laughs> yes, all right, all right, all right. Sorry, Jersey, all right. I think we're wandering from the point of it. Yeah, yeah let Captain Mannering get back into Whitley's shoes. <laughs> well, now, the obvious place for a recce party to land would be in the estuary here. And I have got permission to set up an observation post in the lighthouse here. Permission to interfere, sir. Yeah. I'm afraid the lighthouse is not being used anymore, and therefore it is closed and not open. They used it when yon convoy come through. That's quite right, Fraser, yes. It is used on special occasions. Yeah. And they're quite happy for us to set up a guard post in here from time to time. Now, this evening, Corporal Jones, oh. you will with your section, rendezvous at the Jolly Roger ice cream parlour here on the end of the jetty. Yep. And when the tide is low, you will cross the causeway here. And once you're inside the lighthouse, you will open the sealed orders. Is that understood? Right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, just one question, sir. After I've opened the sealed orders, what should I do? Read them very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's all. Dismiss. Uh, excuse me, sir. I won't be able to go along tonight because I'm delivering essential supplies. Oh, I've heard of these essential supplies of yours before, Walker. No, no, no. This is vital. It's for the hospital, for the nurses. Not elastic again, is it? <laughs> no, it's airpins. Oh, really, Walker? No, no, straight up. The air keeps falling into the operations. And the surgeon's a bit of a fusspot. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'll report back here as soon as I've finished. Now, oh, you know, this really won't do, Walker. Parade is a parade. Your yeah, well, Honour might be able to bring you that bottle of whiskey you asked for. Oh, no, no, never mind that. <laughs> just, uh, just get back here as soon as you can. Right, so, oh, and by the way, uh, <laughs> Bert's fix a Lewis gun, 15 bob, no questions asked. I'll uh, bring it back when I come back later. Right, spend it. I'll, uh, I'll bring you back that bottle of whiskey and all. <clears throat> right, off you go. <laughs> <laughs> Rough diamond, isn't it? <laughs> 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 Art of gold, of course. Yeah, of course, yes, yes. When the light's on again, all right, over Lee, the right, world. Lee, right, Lee, right, Lee, right, Lee, right, Mark, time, open door, forward, Lee, right, 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 Mark, time, forward. Right, turn. Stand that. Ace. Right. I'm now going to take out the sealed orders 
and have been taken out the sealed orders, and I'm going to unseal them. And have been unsealed them, and I'm going to read them to you. And you are going to pay attention. When you open the sealed orders, do you think I might be excused? No, 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 <laughs> you've got to wait. You've got to wait. It's a, it's a, it's a long way down. Yeah, well, here we are. <laughs> orders for section on watch from the lighthouse. You will commence duty at 2,000 hours. 2,000 hours. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> you will commence duty at 2,000 hours. Two, you will keep a strict lookout for any fifth columnists, spies or saboteurs infiltrating up the estuary. What do we do if we see any? Well, you tell me. I'm your commander. And then I will tell Mr Manrin, he's my commander, and then he will tell his commander, and his commander will tell, uh, tell somebody else. Do you think I might be excused now? No, you've got to wait. Here we are. Guards will not be relieved until 800 hours. <laughs> Right, well, we'll uh, revise platoon, advance to contact. Yeah. Ah, glad I caught you and you. We're very busy, Mr. Hodges. What do you want? What do I want? For the past two weeks, I've had serious reports from my warden on this street. You've been flashing lights from this all here on 27 separate occasions. That's three more than 17 Pembroke Gardens, and they turned out to be enemy <coughs> aliens. I can't accept that. One more infringement from these premises, and I'll have you up before the magistrate. You've no authority over the military? Military? That's a laugh when I start. Look, Mannering, if you think you can strut around here like Lord Muckwell, you can't. Oh. I'm in charge of this sector, and I'm warning you. Put that finger down and get out of my headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. But you've had a warning. You've had your last warning. Now, one more flash out of you, and you'll have a policeman feeling your collar. <coughs> Corporal Jones? What? Do you think Mr. Godfrey's all right? He's been gone an awful long time. Yes, of course he's all right. There's a lot of steps, isn't there? There's always a lot of steps in a lighthouse. He's been gone nearly a quarter of an hour already. By the time he gets halfway up, he'll probably have to start down again. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you pop down and see how he's getting on? Hmm. All right. Hold on. Did you lock and bar the door to the rock when he come up? No. Well, if it's dope, nothing. Oh, then. Wild horses wouldn't have dragged me down there before dawn. Why not, Mr. Fraser? Sit down, sir, and I'll tell you. It's because of something that happened to my old school friend, Wally Regan. He was keeper of the light on the fair Loch Rock. Ah, wild, lonely, storm-wracked cliff it is, I tell you. And many a tall ship has gone to its cold, watery grave, pounding on those granite boulders. One night, oh, it was just such a night as this, when the wind was wailing mournfully in the rigging. Mr. Fraser, lighthouses don't have rigging. This one did. <laughs> Wally started down the stairs to bring up a new wick for the lamp. Near the bottom, Something made him stop. Below in the gloom, he could hear a low, painful moan and a, a slithering. Something was moving in the dark. And while he started back upstairs, 20 steps up, he stopped and turned. He could see nothing. The dark was darker, and the moon was moaning louder, and the slithering was coming nearer and nearer and nearer. Wally didn't hesitate. He scrambled up the stairs. Up and up he went, higher and higher, till his lungs were, were gasping and his heart was thumping out of his body. He didn't stop, because he knew that the, 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 the thing was behind him. At last he reached the top, and with one desperate effort, he flung himself into the lamp house and threw himself in the door. Holding his breath, he listened. <laughs> there it was, unmistakable. The thing was on the other side, trying to get in, trying to get in. They can't get in, they can't get in. Please, 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 quiet, the pity. 
and listen. And what if someone would mind opening the door? <laughs> Oh, hello, oh. Mr. Alberts. Didn't expect to see you here tonight. Since the siren hasn't gone, I was going to leave a note. Oh, anything important? Well, it's been about a bit of a blitz on blackouts. The police have been complaining to the big wigs at Area HQ and they've sent a note down to me. Uh, we don't have much bother here being on the arbor front. No. Here, fancy a cup? Don't mind if I do, yeah. yeah. Anyway, watch the blackouts, won't you? Yeah. Uh, two lumps, please. Mr. Jones? Yeah? If we do go downstairs, we won't see Willie's... Slithery thing, will we? <laughs> no, of course we won't. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to stay up here, aren't you? Yeah, as long as possible. <laughs> if we go, we'll go together. Oh, that'll be nice. Yeah. And we can take a rifle and a candle. And if we see the slithery thing, we can shoot it. Yeah, and we'll fix bayonets and all. Yeah. <laughs> I don't suppose slithery things like it up them any more than fuzzy wuzzies do. You can't beat the old steel, you know, Pikey. I wish Uncle Arthur was with us, don't you? No. <laughs> I wish we was with him. <laughs> I say it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, Mr Godfrey. <laughs> it's nothing. I, I was just wondering if we saw spies. Uh, how could we tell Captain Mallory? Well, I suppose we, we'd have to use our initiative. Feeling that... There's a telephone on the wall. <laughs> yeah, that's, what I, that's what I mean. See, we use our initiative and, and that telephone on the wall. I, is it working? Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to try it, won't we? We'll have to try it. That's our best thing. We'll, we'll try it, yes. We'll try it. <clears throat> Hello? Jones the Butcher here? <laughs> Hello? He's dead. Dead? Then we're cut off. Keep calm, we're cut off. Cut off. Keep calm, we're cut off. It's the slithery thing. It's wrapped itself round the wire. Of course it has, a young idiot. <laughs> Perhaps they haven't paid the bill. Oh, Late coaches didn't get bills. My sister forgot to pay the bill once and we were cut off. We, we didn't know for over two weeks because very few people ring us up, you see. There's a light switch Whoa, here. don't touch that. We're not blacked out. Oh, well. Well, can she did. She did just long enough to have a quick kick. Yeah, all right then, all right then. Here we go. The electricity's cut off. Cut off. Keep calm, keep calm. It's this slithery thing. Shut, shut up, slithery. shut up, you young devil! Will you? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's the main switch. I did, a, I did the main switch. That's the slithery <laughs> thing. It is. <laughs> Instructions all right now. <laughs> you better turn it off. Turn it off quick. Yeah, yeah, I, I better turn it off, right? Well, I'm not gonna turn it off. I'm gonna turn it off. Right. They used to have a time switch in in the Phantom Light with Gordon Arker. Well, can't you keep looking for switches when this thing's lighting up the whole coast? Here. What? You've got dark. Come on. That's right, Fraser. That's right. Right. Bit of action, yes. Uh, uh, Pikey, you go and look at the switches, and Fraser and I will do. What? We'll do something else. <laughs> Wait a minute. I oh, know. We'll fix bandits. Fix bandits. Yeah, what? <laughs> You're not going to charge the damn thing, are you? <laughs> now, look, Fraser, I'm in command. You fix bandits. Right. Come on, my, uh, my sister broke a 40 watt bulb once and accidentally did it. Made an awful bang, you know. If we break that, it'll probably blow us all into the sea. Now, listen, Godfrey, you give me your blanket. Come on now. Right. We're going to fix. We're going to fix one corner of the blanket and my bayonet yeah. and fix the other one to Fraser's bayonet, right? Uh... That's right. 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 Go on, stick it on the top there. Right. Right. Ready? Right, I am. Right, lift it up. Right. Follow me. Right. Right. Wait for the light. Here we go. Right. Go on. Right. 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 These brass hats from the war office certainly like their 
red tape, don't they? Yes, they certainly do, sir, yes. Makes it very hard for the front-line fighting troops. Yes, well, this front-line fighting troop's going to make an early night of it, if you don't mind, sir. Yes, why not? All right. See you along. What are you doing, Wilson? Well, Holmes, that's funny. Well, I don't find it very funny. Switch the light on. Well, just come outside here in a minute, will you, sir? Come on. Look. What do you make of that? Over there. Well, it's the end of the lighthouse. There's probably a special convoy going through. Good heavens. <laughs> Jones a section. You don't think it's possible, sir, that somebody might be meddling with something that doesn't concern them? We must get down to the harbour at once, Wilson. All right, sir. Well, that was what I call a real good cup of tea. Yeah, that fellow Walker from the Home Guard got a couple of extra pounds for us. Go on. Walker? Oh, I wouldn't have touched it if I'd known. <laughs> well, well, since the Luftwaffe haven't honoured us with their presence, I think I'll pop off home. Good night, Mr. Alberts. Good night. Mr. Alberts? Mr. Alberts? I didn't know they were flashing tonight. I haven't been notified. I saw the home guard not going to go at low tide. Not Mannering's mob. Well, no, that, that old Lance Corporal fell anyway, you know, that the... Ruddy hooligans! Put that light out! Put that ruddy light out! They can't hear you, Mr. Rogers. I'll make them hear me! Put that light oh, no, out! Don't, 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 don't. Well, I, I'll get him on. Don't, don't I'll get worry. him on the phone. I'll, I'll get Mannering. I'll tell him. I'll tell him quarters. I'll have right. him busted. Right. Put that light out! <laughs> 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 right out, Fraser, stand by next time round. Right. Hey, it's, it's like me. Come on, Mr. Knight, come on, come on. Take a map, 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 What's your game, Fraser? What's your game? When I say left, right, pick him up, pick him up, I mean pick him. Got him stuck now. Look at this. You've clogged the cogs. <laughs> well, anyway, we don't have to go on running round like squirrels in a cage anymore. Doesn't Warmington look pretty all lit up? Blimey. <laughs> oh, it's stuck right across the town. It's a good job the siren hasn't gone, in it? <laughs> I don't think Mr Manning's going to be very pleased with us. <laughs> Of uh, stop going round and round, sir. This is damn serious, Wilson. Yes. Things lighting up the whole tower. We're a sitting target for every jetty plane within 50 miles. That fool Mannering isn't even in his headquarters. Wait, look, you lot have done that. You lot! The old town lit up like Blackpool illuminations, and now Jenny's arrived. I'm well aware of the situation, Warden. Well, what are you gonna do about it? I want to be informed. We must get out there at once. Well, you can't do that, sir. I mean, the tide's in. The cause is under six foot of water. Then we must get a boat. But you can't. You'll be dashed to pieces on the rocks. We can try, can't we? Come on, Wilson. All right, sir. Get a life, Phil. You can't do it. Let them do it. Let, let them be dashed to pieces. Serves them right. Well, you can't do it, I tell you. There's no such word as can't. If the spirit is willing, there's nothing can stop us. There isn't a boat. Oh. <laughs> That is rather an obstacle. <laughs> well, we must find some other way. A pound to a penny, you'll try and walk on the water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a bit of a lark, isn't it? Old Jones is up the creek without a paddle and no mistake. We've got to put that light out somehow, Walker. Shoot it out. What did you say? He's got a Lewis gun. Shoot it out. Can't do that. You mean you couldn't hit it? I mean, one of our men might get hit. Your men? What about the town? What about the women and children? All the bombs raining down on them. The bombs are not raining down on them. No, but they will be any minute. Look, if you won't take a decision, I will. Give us that gun. Take your hand, 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 Mind you, the aircraft factory will have to stop production. I don't be ridiculous, Walker. Here, what about having a go at that transformer around the back? Let's have a go at that. Look, Walker, if you can't be sensible, just keep quiet. I think that's very sensible. Oh. Lead on, Walker. Huh? And take this gun. Can't leave it here with those people about. Right. <clears throat> you lift this up, you see? Hold the blanket up nice and high, and that'll stop the light going over the town, won't it? 
right, is it? There you are, that's right. Well, that's, that's, that's quite good. Yeah. You know, it doesn't stop it all together, but it's a, it's a much softer light. The other was terribly hard. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Jones? Yeah? The, the steam coming out of the middle of the blanket. <laughs> well, that, that's lamp, that layer, it's probably a bit damp, you see. Yeah, well, layer it. when my mum puts things in front of the fire to wear it, it steams white, and that's steaming black. <laughs> <laughs> the black is on fire! Don't panic! Unfortunately, it seems to be locked. Hello. Oh, that's easy. Got a pin. Anyone got... You got a hairpin? <laughs> <laughs> Am I likely to have a hairpin? Well, you sell them, don't you, Walker? Yeah, but I'd have to open a new packet, wouldn't I? I mean, yeah. I stand to lose, don't I? Yeah, use this paper clip. Yeah, right, so, here we go. Oh, look, do you mind turning the other way? Sort of professional etiquette, oh, you know what I mean? Get on oh, with it, Walker, for heaven's sake. Get on with it. Right. <laughs> that's it. Oh. All we need is the right switch. There don't seem to be many switches. There's plenty of wires, huh? Insulators. Give me a tin hat. No, no, please, please, oh. please. Uh, don't, 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 don't so, be over, don't overdo it, please. Stand clear. Stand well clear. Ah, oh, certainly. <laughs> I'll walk away slowly as though nothing had happened. <laughs> Well, pity that one hasn't. Get the hurricane lamps out. Hey, Mr. Jones, I think I found another switch. Well, switch it, party boy, switch it. <laughs> Blimey, if they can't see us, I'll be able to hear us. <laughs> oh, I can't stand up under my pill. Oh, go, blimey, it's Hutch. <laughs> Still on. Of course it's still on. It's gone out in there, though. Right, who's been flashing without my authority? Who are you? I'm the keeper. I've no business to flash without my authority. Can that thing be turned off from the land? Of course not. It's powered by its own generator. Here, listen, why don't we use a telephone? It's cut off. It's not manned, you see. Well, perhaps the exchange could reconnect it. That's good thinking. Hello? Hello, hello. So I used to live there once, you know, but me lungs couldn't stand it. The salt used to get in them, you know. I, I used to cough something awful. Terribly. What? <laughs> hello? Hello. Put me through to the supervisor, will you? Oh, I can't do that. She goes off at six. There's only me here. Well, then you'll have to deal with it. Now, listen very carefully. Yes. This is Captain Mannering speaking of the Home Guard. Yes. Who? Captain Mannering. M-A-I-N-W-A-R-I-N-G. Oh, do, do you want me to write that down? No, no, no. Just listen, please. Yes, sir, Captain. I'm listening. Oh. I'm speaking... I'm speaking to you from the Jolly Roger Ice Cream Parlour. That's been shut since the war. I know it has. It's an ARP post, and I'm speaking from it. Are you an air raid warden as well, though? <laughs> Never mind that. Will you connect me to the lighthouse? I can't. It's cut off. I know it's cut off. Can you reconnect me? Oh, I can't do that. You'll have to talk to the supervisor. That's who I asked for in the first place. <laughs> oh, j j just a minute. Just uh, There's a dress here. Takes messages for the lighthouse. Ah, good. That's the ticket. Give it to me, will you? Wilson, yes. put this down, will you? All right, right, put this right, down. Right. Yes? It's the Jolly Roger ice cream <laughs> kiosk. <laughs> Jolly Roger. Yes, all right. Ice cream. all right. I'm speaking from there. Well, well, can't you give them the message, then? <laughs> anyway, so, uh, uh, come here. Give it to me, will you? Hello, Frida. Who's that? It's Joe. Joe Walker. Oh. Oh, hello, Joe. <laughs> Here, listen, love. Stick 73 into 21, will you? <laughs> oh, Joe, what are you up to now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, I'll do it for you. Hang on. 
Here are, sir, she's putting you through. You seem very well informed. Well, we used to run the brandy from France before the war in the motorboats, you know. <laughs> and there was this bent coast guard who used to give us a tip-off when they were coming round the bay. Really? Yeah, Telephone. Oh. Jack Jones, the butcher. <laughs> Paul Jones? Sir? This is Captain Mannering speaking. Now listen very carefully. Sir? I'm going to give you instructions as to how to turn off the light. Right. You're to go down to the generator room. Right. Go down to the generator room. Right, sir. Right, sir. Just a minute. It's locked. <laughs> yeah, Paul Jones? Yes, sir? Just a minute. Yes. It, it, it's locked. Oh. Yeah. Do you know where the key is? Yes, sir. Jones, can you hear me? I'm, go I I'm going to tell you where the key is. It's here. It's here. <laughs> You'll have to break the door down and get, get into the generator room. Break the door down, the generator room. Right, sir. I'll do that, sir, right away, sir. Directly, sir. Ladies and men, we're going to go down and find the generator room and then we're going to find the door of it. And we're going to break that down and we're going into the generator room and we're, and we're going to stop it. What about the slithery thing? We'll stop that and all. Right. <laughs> come on, come right. on, come on, Parky. Come on, right. Fraser. You right. stay here, you stay here, Mr. Godfrey. Listen. I can hear him. Mannering, listen. There's hundreds of them. They're not coming here. They're on the way to somewhere else. Yes, but when they see this, they'll change their minds, won't they? I mean, they won't have another chance like this in the old war. All right, all right. Jones will put it out in a minute. You've got to shoot it out now. You can't take the risk. It'll all be down below now, sir. I think you could. Well, I'm going to hold it off until the last possible minute. Mm. Give me the gun, Walker. Sir. <laughs> Uh, look, Mr. Jones, I I'm making a rabbit. <laughs> it's the biggest one you ever saw. It's, it's all over Warmington. <laughs> <laughs> They're practically overhead. For God's sake, shoot it out. <laughs> now I'm making a bird. <laughs> it's going right up and down the high street. Oh, oh dear, what, what a pity there's no one here to see it. <laughs> There's one caught in the searchlight! Right over it! Shoot your bloody fool or it'll be murder! I think you could, sir. Go on. Go on. All right. Here goes. Oh, dear. Oh, what a pity. I, I was enjoying that. <sighs> Blimey, that was a near thing. You haven't heard the last of this. You know, sir, I can't understand why we just don't concentrate on guarding things as opposed to getting mixed up in all these absurd operations. Oh, nonsense. By doing this, we've encountered difficulties and we've triumphed over them. And we're better soldiers for it. We've been enriched by the experience. All the same, I have a feeling when that bill comes in for that electric thing, we'll all be a lot poorer. <laughs> oh, no. No, there's not a shred of evidence to connect us with it. Hmm? <clears throat> <clears throat> Ha, 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 ha.